Side. I'm Pat Dana. It's Saturday, the 28th day of March, which just happens to be my birthday. Hi, good morning, our swap shop. Hey there. Uh, happy birthday. Hey, thank you. How'd you know? No, You're I'm welcome. Just I'm just <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, this is Sensei Doug. I, I have uh, something for sale. What you got, Doug? That's a cuckoo clock. It's a very old-fashioned cuckoo clock. Cuckoo clock. And, um... Yeah, cuckoo clock. You know the the problem with it is that I like you know every time the cuckoo clock comes out, it it, it just it starts looking at me. <laughs> you know, it gives, like, gives me this kind of creepy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it gives, it gives me those fucking fucking snake eyes and uh, pisses me off. Oh, easy there now, easy. What's I, your what's your phone number, Doug? I just want to strangle string. Thanks, Doug. It's a it's a kid show. Family show. Okay, hey, guess what? They are out today. <laughs> hey, we're, well, we probably should turn on a delay here or something for all my fine listeners out there. All right, 477-5626, 477-KNCO. We'll be back with more Saturday Swap Shop. So uh, let's get to the phone lines and see who else is awake in town. Hi, good morning. You're on Swap Shop. Hey, how's it going? Happy birthday. Hey, well, thank you. How are you? I'm not too bad. Uh, listen, I just had to shut down. Uh, I, had, I had to close down my pharmacy, so I've got some inventory i got to get rid of. Okay. So I just wanted to see, um, I mean, I've got about a gross of 2,000 condoms, and um, I've got the... Nice. And he, he's thinking that went over the air. <laughs> Do you think that was uh, my buddy? It probably my was. My new buddy. Hi, you're on Swap Shop. Hi, this is Rusty calling from Grass Valley. Hello, Rusty. How are you? I'm great. How are you today? Happy birthday, by the way. Hey, well, thank you. It's turned into a comedy show around here. <laughs> <laughs> I actually just have um, a Smitty Bill 97203. Yeah, uh, it's a winch. It has a 3,000 pound capacity. The problem was I needed one that was about 10,000 pounds. Don't know why. So I am looking to trade that for either a wild horse or 50,000 Hebrew slaves. <laughs> you guys are on a roll, aren't you? What? I don't understand what you're talking about. But the phone number is... Hi, you're on Swap Shop. Hi, thanks for having me on. Sure. Good, good. And yourself? Uh, I'm all right. I just went to uh, sell my antique shot glasses. I've got about 50 of them, and they're from 1930. Antique shot glasses. Okay. And uh, have you got a price uh, on them? Or? Uh, yeah, I'm asking, I'm asking $100 for the set. All right. Is that it? Yep. That's how, it. how much phone number? Uh, it's seven... Shit-ass. Fuck time. Fuck you, Wow, man! We, we, um, people really got it today. They're, they're really into it. It's a bunch of. Uh, so here's what we're gonna do. Swap shop is over. Um, we'll we'll, we'll, uh, we'll get the shopping show coming up at ten o'clock, and uh, until then, folks, I'm just gonna talk. And uh, let's see. And uh, and I apologize, but uh, that's just the way it's gonna be. Wow. I mean, I should have taken a day off. Yeah. It did kind of turn into a party, though, huh? Not, not it's the okay. party we wanted. So yeah, I'm, and I'm sorry if you haven't heard Swap Shop's over for the day. So if you if you want to get something on Swap Shop, why don't you call on Monday, talk to Dave Bear, and I just I'm taking the executive decision to say Psst, Swap Shop's over. If you want to complain, give Don a call, or you can talk to Tom. Either way, but uh, I have had enough, and it's my birthday, oh, and yeah. I can do what I want. So with that being said, I want to take a break. And you know what? I will. What the fuck is this? R E E F E R. We be touching tones, calling phones. We rip from Craigslist. Systematic prank machine has never been better than this. Feeling fine, dial your line. You don't know what the facts is. Running strong for 20 years, cactus. Cactus. This ain't a game, playing on these phones Roy gets a little boner every time he hears the dial tone Just like when I see there's a brand new upload We eat, sleep and listen to the Snowplow Show My name is Sensei Doug, I happen to know Tai Chi See you giving snake eyes and we're gonna have a disagreement Call you morning, night or evening If we hack your voicemail, we call it an achievement If you laugh Try your best to conceal it when the number's disconnected. We know it's a bereavement. Shit. Please hang up and give a moment of silence. Message PLA. PLA. Old man story mode. Hi, my name is Roy and I'm calling from the corporate office. Sorry that you're busy, but the problem we got is the server's gone wrong. Your sales don't exist. We're gonna need you to go out back. Am I supposed to be doing this? Yes. 
find the breaker box One by one we need them switches all flicked off It's normal if the lights go out in and around the shop Keep on flicking switches till the phone cuts off Plunge into darkness, we are the master artists The tilts will start and the funny part is I can hear us laughing but still make sure they power down Every switch in this base calls a mass confusion For every single department PLA making every mark open the fuse compartment Bro, you got some balls, mister Sir, sorry. <laughs> um, no, it's okay. I'm calling from the corporate office. Snowplow show. Cactus. Hey, everyone. I'm Brad, and you're listening to the Snowplow Show. This is episode 555. And it's brought to you by Jamie F, David J, the Bad Cat Forum.com, Jim Dusky, and Effin Reality. They're the sponsors of today's show. They're the ones you can blame for me not doing a themed show today after the number 555. Someone said I needed to do Hollywood pranks because, you know, in movies they always use the number 555. I wanted to do a show after the 555 timer I see, but I couldn't think of a single prank call to do around that. But, you know, I had every intention of doing Hollywood-themed prank calls, even though I had no ideas on what to do. But I forgot that today was episode 555, and I just spent over an hour doing completely different prank calls. And I'm too lazy to go back now and start over. Fuck that shit. I never do anything on these important numbered shows. I did all the stoner calls for episode 420, and for 404, I did nothing. I just skipped over that one, lol. But yeah, blame the sponsors for this. Stupid sponsors. If you want to support the show and get blamed for things, you can do that by going to patreon.com slash phone losers or phone losers.com slash cactus. Thanks to the new people who've signed up recently like Blake W and Coty. Before we get started with today's show, I'm going to play a few clips from a video that Giad made years ago back in 2013 where he tried to organize a phone mobbing on a public access show and I guess the host caught on to it and they just spent the entire hour insulting me and the phone losers. It was very humiliating and I didn't even have anything to do with it. Thanks a lot for that, Giad. Tonight, let's talk justice. We are welcoming welcoming the winners from the Phone Loser Forum. Ah, the Phone Loser yes, Forum. Yes, apparently our yeah. show has been bestowed with the honor ah, yes. of a targeted phone prank flash mob. What, now, what does that mean? I'm not well, sure. I don't know. We're going to have to ask one Brad Carter. Brad, known as uh, alias Giad, alias Newbie. Oh, it sounds like a uh, real Yes, has guy. targeted yeah. uh, us. Oh. Brad has made the offer uh, to all of those watching on the West Coast, because Can TV is streaming now. Yeah. He will call in an emergency right. to the West Coasters okay. to get them out of work so that they can prank call us or Math Matters or Veterans Issues. Ah. Um, very nice. So, Brad, uh, very generous uh, employers of uh, Phone Loser Forum attendees, or whatever they are, yeah. um, if your employee left for an emergency, maybe you should fire them. Well, you know, people have many different ways of entertaining themselves. For our friend uh, Brad, is it Brad? Brad Carter! For Brad Carter, Hey, it's... Brad! Prank calling Can TV in Chicago. Yeah, whatever, well, whatever floats your boat, man. Some people have hobbies and interests, and Brad has whatever he has. Well, uh, Brad, I, I hope <laughs> I hope this is not the, your 15 minutes of fame because that would be unfortunate. We have a call, okay. not Brad Carter. Yeah. Both mem uh, the one on the right is a member of Phone Loser Forum. I think that's Brad Carter. <laughs> Brad, yeah. I think that might be Brad Carter <laughs> in the flesh. See, Brad. What you didn't anticipate is we got the open microphone. Yeah, RBCP, head custodian, ninja phone loser. Ninja phone loser. That's the one on the left. Uh, Brad Ridge, really, really bang up job, guys. There you are, Brad Carter. Yeah. All right, you're on the air with uh, Brad Carter's memorial service. Let's go back to the, the, the phone loser forum chat room, uh, yeah. live chat room. So I'm tired of listening to that because it's very demeaning to me, and they made me feel really bad about myself. But that was about half of it. I'm sure I'm going to edit it way down because you guys don't want to hear four minutes of that. There's an eight-minute video on Giad's YouTube page 
from 2013. You can watch the entire thing. It's video, so you can see these guys. And they put up pictures on the screen of a naked fat guy and say that it's me. It was not cool. I'll have a link to that in the show notes at snowplowshow.com if you want to take a look at that and laugh at my expense. Thanks for organizing that, 2013 g ad. Here's a list from Uppity Cracker. He gives me a link to a radio station that does a call-in show, like one of those auction things or garage sale things where old people call in and try to sell things on the air. I guess that's more of a garage sale than an auction. But they also put the list of everything that people are selling on their website. And I don't know, it's maybe 15 numbers here of people just selling random things. Got free kittens and sets of tires, machine shop tools. It doesn't say how much. Maybe it's all free. No, no, no. There's prices on some of the things. This is a FM station that does this. I thought only AM stations did this kind of thing. And I'm looking at their shows. I don't see anything called garage sale. So is that what this is? Did they call in to do this? I mean, Uppity Cracker says they did. So let's call up some of these people and tell them to stop being inappropriate with us. This is a family station. You have reached the voice mailbox. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message. The number you dialed is not a working number. Hello? 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 Hey there. It's it's Steve Dave from the radio station. You, you called in uh, yesterday about those tires. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I just sold them. Yeah, well, yeah, right. Look, we need you to stop making prank calls to the radio station. That is, Excuse me? Can you please stop making prank calls to the radio station? We have legitimate people on here that want to sell things for real. And we don't need your jokes. I'm sorry, but I didn't call you. Oh, no, you, you, try, you said you were selling tires and a manual wheelchair. Okay, well, I, I, I was selling them. Yeah. But I just sold them. Yeah, but no, we... There ain't no prank call going on. No, oh, no, we, uh, we know Somebody you, came and, and they fucking bought them. We know what I you, wasn't. I wasn't fucking doing anything like that. Hey, we don't... I don't prank call hey, nobody. Hey, 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 we know what you really meant by manual wheelchair, quote unquote. And that, that's not cool. This is a family station. And please, please don't do that. The, Man, you, look, I do have a manual wheelchair... That was given to me. Yeah, very. And I don't need it. Very, I'm giving that away. Very funny. But I really do not appreciate you saying that I'm prank calling and, and sitting there and, and all that bullshit, man. That is fucked up. We know we know what set of tires really means. Well, you know and, what? You just my ass, dude. Uh, I, that's all I'm saying. Is yeah, I had hey. nothing to do. Everything I that we put on there this morning. It's true. You are obviously guilty. Like you said. Sounds... Now you're getting mad because I, I, I sold my tires. Look, you need Dude, to hang up. Yeah, don't, to... don't, don't call me no more. Just grow the fuck up. Someone was telling him to hang up in the background. Well, that's the first person in six calls to answer. So I think this is going to be a short list. Nobody else is picking up today. And he said it was today that he called this in. Because according to this blog post, it was yesterday. Please leave your name and number and a brief message. I'll get back to you soon. Dur, 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 dur. Nobody is picking up on this list. Hello? Hello, this is Steve Dave from the radio station. You called in yesterday selling some things. Uh, yes. I it, had some TVs. Yeah, TVs, quote unquote. Look, I have teenage kids and I know the texting lingo. I know what you really mean by TVs, and this is a family radio station. You don't need to be prank calling us like this. Uh, televisions. Hello, I'm I'm 60 years old. I'm assistant pastor to church. Yeah. Televisions. I don't care what you're. If, I don't have a clue what you're coming if, up with. If, if you're a pastor, television. If you're a pastor of a church, you should not be inserting secret pornography and curse words and stuff into your ads on the radio. That's immature. You need to grow up. And we're. What are you coming up with this at? I don't have a clue what you're talking about. Oh, we we know. We we look. We're not stupid here. We weren't born yesterday. Evidently, Same. you are. Who are you? Like the TVs. I mean, come on, TVs. Everyone, <laughs> everyone watches TV on their laptop now. 
Uh, my who, name, who are you? My name is Steve Dave. I'm the station manager over here at K. Uh, Point seven, the gerbil. You, the gerbil? Well, classic hits, whatever. Uh, the station manager there is Terry. Yeah, I'm the assistant to the general station manager. Oh, uh, anyway, why, why don't you get Why don't you get Terry to call me? Well, I can put Carol on. But look, get Terry to look, call me. No, no, I like wh- he doesn't want to call and talk to someone who would be this this immature and this this. And, and what was your name again? I already told you three times now, Steve Dave. From PJ. the ra- yeah PJ from the radio station, and look like uh, look you're, you're uh, welcome to call in and sell things like real things, but come on don't don't be inserting in this this filth this garbage. I, I don't know what you're. We're a family I have station. Televisions. You know you could get us knocked off the air by the FCC saying disgusting I, things. I like, think you're. Uh, I think you're loony, man. I'm not loony. I work for a radio station. The the. Terry told me okay, to call uh, you up and, and who works there with you? Oh, I don't have to tell you shit. I'm just asking you to please. You're right. You don't have to because you don't know. I don't know who you are. Look, come on, just but just I cut know, it out. I know the people that work at the radio. I know the person that. Oh, you don't the, know anybody here. Radio. You don't know anyone around here. Just just you know, cut it out with the immaturity. Grow up, and you know if you want to sell <laughs> something for real, you're welcome to call back in. Just just cut it out with this TV business. And, and your name's TJ. Yep, TJ. What's your last name? Uh, Days. TJ Dave. Days. Why? Why would like? Why would you think I just said Dave? That's weird. Spell it. I T. Um, why don't you get a life, man? But why don't you get a life and stop pranking radio stations? That guy completely thwarted me, knowing everybody at the station. So I need to start saying my name is Terry, I guess. Hello? Hey there, this is Steve Dave from the radio station. Mm -hmm. Um, You you called it yesterday to sell this Chevrolet Malibu thing. Mm Mm-hmm. And, um, like, when you called in, you were just, uh, you know, being all flirty with the DJ, with Mike. I was? Yeah. I was just wondering if you could maybe just try to next time keep it more professional. Who is this? Uh, this is Steve Dave. I'm with the radio station. It's just that... Oh, you are? Yeah, it's just that he's spoken for, you know? And he, he doesn't... You know, that's so funny that you say you're with the radio station because you're obviously a blooming idiot because I gave my phone number. I work for the radio station. I'm a co-host on that show. Yeah, but you're and flirting. Also, that doesn't mean I you can have- flirt. You can't just flirt with the okay, I don't know what your problem is, but I, I've spoken with someone else who just called in. You're obviously just going through phone numbers on the list of artifacts and calling and pranking people. I just got no. a phone call from some people that had some tires for sale, and you they said you were extremely rude with them. So get a lie, At least I'm not and don't flirting. tune in if this is all that you have to do. So I'm, not, I'm not flirting with the on-air personalities like you, at least. Oh, there she goes. Crap. It's okay, though, because I only have one number left to call. Apparently, I'm a blooming idiot. The text now subscriber you were trying to... Darn. Well, that was fun. Thanks for that, uppity cracker. I don't know if I should save this list or not at this point, because I think that lady I just talked to is going to call up everyone and warn them about me. I wonder if I could find another radio station that does a similar program, though, just by doing a Google search. Like, here's one, but... They only list the phone numbers. They don't list the items, which is kind of weird. Oh, and that's from 2017, so never mind. But really, what the hell? Why would they just list the phone numbers and nothing else? Hey, look, there's WBGZ, the radio station from our first phone mob. That's number five in my Google search. Here we go. This might be one. It's a swap shop thing. Just a few phone numbers on this one. This one's from today. Oh, this is like a whole list of like every day, day after day. Hello. Whoa, hey, uh, this is Steve Dave from the radio station. Can you shut that dog up? Tell that dog to shut up. What now? I'm calling from the radio station. You called into the swap shop to sell some things. Hey, can can you what now? Uh, I can barely hear you. I, you're you're breaking up. So I'm sorry. It's it's because of your damn dog. Your dog keeps barking. I don't have a dog. 
What? You do too? I'm I... in heaven. There's no dogs in heaven. Where, where are you from? I, I'm from the radio station. I'm, you, you called in a thing to the swap shop today. Okay. Yeah, you need to stop prank calling the radio station, sir. Prank calls are for kids. What? And and you can't be for what now? You you know you're 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 like selling just you know sexual <laughs> items and disguising the words and using euphemisms and like it's I, it's <laughs> it's not funny. What's that mean? <laughs> it's it's that's, that's above my. I don't know what you're. Well, I have the slightest idea. Yeah, just like you don't have a dog, right? No, I don't have a dog. I'm walking down the sidewalk, and the dog in the fence yard is barking at me while I'm walking down the sidewalk. Well, you could have explained that earlier instead of pretending you don't have a dog. But anyway, you need to stop. I don't. Per- I'm not. I'm not pretending I don't have a dog. I don't have a dog. Listen here, Buster. You need to just stop prank calling the radio station. What station? Who, who are you? I, I'm with K. That you called into the swap Which shop. One? You were selling your uh, motorcycle, quote unquote. And your license plate. No, I don't have. I don't have a motorcycle, sir. Then why would you like? See, that's what I'm talking about. Stop prank calling us. It's ridiculous. I don't. I, I've never sold a motorcycle on swap shop. Yeah. So stop prank calling us and saying that you are. It's, no, it's, I, I didn't call prank today. You need to grow the fuck up, sir. No, you. you no, just stop it. Stop a minute. Okay, now what what station is this? What city, sir? That's a uh, FM. SM. Y- yeah. How many stations do you call into? How do you not know this? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, I call the. Yeah, I know the. I know Susie and all the people there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and l- that's another thing. You need to stop flirting with everyone when you call in, because that's just weird. <laughs> She's too old for me, pal. <laughs> I'm 22 years old, didn't you know? Yeah, you sound like I you're 22. Go. Well, well, thank you. Anyway, you just need to cut it out with the prank calls. You know, get find a hobby or something. Stop, stop. Well, there is no prank calls for me, that's for sure. Stop teasing animals when you walk by and making them bark at you. What the hell's that? Oh, okay. So what do you want to buy? Some license plates or what? No, I don't want to buy anything. I just want you to stop prank calling our station. Well, I don't prank call it. So and I'm going to call Susie. Uh, believe me, I'm going to call her. Try not to and fl- Give me your name. Try not to flirt with her too what? much. What, what's your name? Uh, my name is Steve Dave. Steve Day. Okay, I'm going to call her, and I'm going to have a little talk to her about you, my friend. Okay? Okay, try not to tease the dogs while you're talking to her. Make them bark a lot yeah, so you can I'll hear her. I guarantee you, Susie will get an earful from me about you, my friend. Oh, I, 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 yeah. hope, I hope you do. Like, and she'll back. Yeah, so she'll, go find another job, will you? She, she'll go back find, me up. Go find something to do. Oh, you're not going to get me fired. Like, good luck with that. I'm unfireable. What? Well, you're unfireable. How huh? well? You know what, pal? I doubt it. Okay. Look, you're hey, the, go chase a dog or something, you, will you? You're the one making. <laughs> you're the one making prank calls. Prank calls. I have never made a prank call to the uh, to the the station. Uh, in any way, shape, or form. You're making prank calls today, like talking about license plates, quote unquote. We know talking the lingo. About license plates. Yeah, whatever whatever that's supposed to mean. I don't know. We're under your euphemism. You evidently you evidently are, are you you know everything, so why why don't you have it figured out? Well we have figured it out. We figured out you're a prank caller and you need to cut it out and grow up. Prank caller. Oh boy, oh boy. You 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 got a you got a problem, pal. You got a real problem. No, I'm Go not find one, another job. I'm not the one making prank yeah. calls and threatening people's yeah. jobs. Goodbye. I, I don't want to talk to you. Goodbye. I don't want to talk to you, fucking prank caller. That guy was insane. He said some of the weirdest things ever. Okay, let me call the next one on the list. Next, we've got some Nikes, four pairs of them, size nine. That seems sketchy. Fifteen dollars each. Hello. Hello. Oh hey hey this this is uh, Steve Dave I'm with the radio station you called in today selling yeah. selling Nikes yes hey those aren't stolen are they well no <laughs> why why would I you think I would go and try to sell something if they were stolen well I don't know I'm you're not that kind of a person you're just selling them so cheap and you've got four pairs of them like where come on be real with me where'd you steal them from I didn't steal them from no. I, 
Some girl sent them to me because she owed me some money, so she sold it to me. They're twenty five dollars, but you know, what's what's they're, she, they're, what? what what she owe you money for? Is it in your business? Why she owed me? Because I I sent her some money before, and she just sent it to me. Why? Yep. A likely story. Look, we can't be having stolen merchandise on our website. And, I and, is not stolen. Why are you accusing me of stealing something? Because I'm not that kind of person. It, it just seems it so... It doesn't matter what I sell it for. Why? It just seems so sketchy, you know, like four pairs. Oh, and, yeah. Well, I, yeah, I, I heard how we, they they advertise. Well, he's got some uh, some uh, slippers. They probably all wore out. Well, I just wanted to get rid of them. That's all. Why? There's no no reason why there's a point why for fifteen dollars each though like are they hundred dollar shoes well, they're 20, no they're twenty five dollar shoes I thought they're they were... slippers oh they're slippers they're slippers they're slippers oh they're slippers okay those probably aren't stolen then well no they're they're, they're, they're they got a price tag for twenty five dollars I just wanted to sell them because I I, you know, there's no, they don't fit me, you know, they're size, I wear a size 10 and a half, and they're size 9. Could you just stri- she owed me some money, and, you know, so, you know. But what? So I just, get, what? What she, what she owe you the money for, though? She just owed me some money because I, I, I sent her some money before, and so she just sent them to me. Why? What would you send her money for originally? To pay a bill. What kind of a bill? Why do I have to ask you all these questions? Oh, we, just, we just need to make sure they're not stolen Nike slippers. No, they're not Nike. <laughs> oh wow! No, they're 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 not stolen. I don't go and steal stuff over there. I got pretty good reputation over there. I don't go and steal anything. Yeah, I work for what I pay for. O- over where? Well, who is this? Oh, my name is Steve Dave. I'm I'm with the radio station. I, we, I was just concerned that you know people are selling. What stolen radio station? K- Thank you. Well, I know Susie. She, Susie knows me. Why would I? I'd be said putting something on, 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 on the swap shop if, if they were legit. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't know. You just sounded so. You, you really. You, this really insults me because. It, that, that's that's crazy. You yeah, know? well, you, you just sounded so sketchy when you called in, and you were flirting with the the on air personality on the air. And well, I know Susie, so why ask her if she knows Jose? All right. Yeah, I will. I will. But I don't know. You were just flirting a bunch on the phone when you called in, and you're acting very strange. We were very suspicious well, of you. <laughs> you sound like a cop. A cop? Yeah, I used to be a cop. Well, you talk, you talk to Susie and that, you know, and uh, you talk to Tim O'Connell and, uh, you know, and, and okay. uh, Matt and... Yeah, yeah, name dropping Larry, all over the place. Larry and all them, they, they all know who I am. Okay, and they'll, they'll Sketchy, all, huh? they will all confirm for me that you're not a shoe thief? <laughs> wow, you, you insult me. I don't even know why you even talk to me. No, I, I'm, I don't I'm even know trying, why I'm talking to you. I'm not trying to insult you. I just, I'm just saying you sound like a shoe thief. I don't know. That's all. There he goes. Well, that's all for that one. And look at this. I was going to bookmark that page, and I found that I've bookmarked another Swap Shop page in the past. And it's up to date. There's several entries on there from today. There's several from yesterday, several from Friday. So I probably pranked people from this list before, but, you know, a really long time ago. I need to make a directory of Swap Shops which I just did. I now have two entries in it, and I'm going to add uppity crackers in there too. Here's a lady having a yard sale, and she put her address on it, but then I go to her address, and it's some kind of a flooring company, but there's a bunch of stuff out on the sidewalk. Like, she does this a lot, like clothes and baby cribs, just tables full of stuff, like a yard sale. But it's a business. She can't do that. She's cheating the system. Hello. Hey, I was calling about your yard sale. Yeah. Is this a yard sale or a business? This is a yard sale. I thought you also getting on the line down here on 6th on the uh, East Main Street. 
Yeah, but is is it a yard sale or is it an actual business? Yeah, no, it's a yard sale. That's just a it's an apartment complex right there. Like a flooring company, apartment complex. Um, no, no, it's a, they've turned it into an apartment. Oh, but there's a big sign on the front that says flooring company. Um. Well, it's not nothing like that. It's an apartment complex. Why wouldn't you take the sign down? I don't know. I mean, that's the, the landlord just said to about that, but I don't know nothing about that. You had to, like, take spray paint and put a big X over it. It'd be like, you know, it's, it's not here anymore. Yeah, well, I, it's not me that lives there. I'm just, you know, one of the people that's just advertising it and everything, so I don't have nothing to do with that. So it's a neighbor of yours, or you do you just work? It's a it's a my husband's cousin that lives there, and I'm not with her. Oh, I'm not the one that I don't live there. Which one of you works at the flooring company? I don't have a flooring company. Oh, well, I'm I'm calling from ah. She hung up, and holy shit! How did the radio station understand her to get all this information? Yeah, hello. Hey there, this is Steve Dave from the radio station. Uh, I guess you called in a yard sale for the swap shop. Hey, Steve, how you doing? Pretty good. Hey, um, th- this is supposed to be just for, uh, you know, personal sales and stuff. We can't have you doing businesses. Oh, it's not but, a business, Steve. It's a, it is a personal yard sale. Oh, no, it's a flooring company. We can see on, uh, on the Google. It's like a flooring fl- company. Fl- yeah, a flooring company. Flooring. Yeah. Uh, not the place that the place that it's at, it's an apartment. I can assure you that. Right there on Main Street. Yeah, yeah, on Main Street at the flooring company. Uh, they haven't changed it then, Steve, because my cousin lives there. It's a it's an apartment. I don't know. And like we're looking on But anyways. We're looking on Street View. But, it, it looks like you're having a sale on Street View too, like way back in two thousand sixteen. Do you guys always have sales? Like sidewalk sales at your flooring company? See, I, I have no idea about a flooring company. I really don't. But all, all I know is where it's at. It It is in a, an apartment. Uh, but it did used to be a business, I can tell you that. Uh, but now it's apartments. But hmm. the yard sale is pretty much over today uh, anyways. Darn. I don't know. It kind of looks like a business. Are you sure this is an apartment? Uh, yeah. I mean, it, like I said, at one time, it, it probably wasn't a business. Uh, business there. Uh, the building does look like a business, but it's been turned into a couple apartments. Because there's a big open sign in the window on Street View, like a big neon yeah. open sign, and it has the business hours. Are you sure you're not lying? No, I'm, I promise you. I promise you. I don't know. Just seem, You sound like a liar, though. I sound like a liar. Well, that's not cool. Yeah, I know, but it just it sounds like... Hey, t- tell her in the background to shut the fuck up, please. No, you, you should, shut the fuck up. Steve. Hey, don't, don't curse you at me, a little bitch. Don't curse at me. Oh, no, fuck I'm, you! I'm, don't cu- don't call this number I'm again a, I'm and, a, and want a bitch and want. I don't give a goddamn who you're from. Look, I'm shut from a radio station. Up. I don't give a fuck who you're from. It sounds like shut you the do. Fuck up, you fucking bitch. Well, you're a liar. Well, it seems a little suspicious. You know, August 2016, they have tables out there with a bunch of baby clothes and stuff on them, car seats and cribs knickknacks and the place is obviously open there's a neon sign there's a forklift parked on the side of the building and three years later they're still doing these yard sales out in front that's weird i kind of want to get on craigslist and look up this yard sale and see if the pictures look the same but nah that's too much work here's someone that needs two rooms painted Uh hey um you're needing those two rooms painted I am. Uh, did you find anyone for that yet? No, I'm still taking estimates. I'm taking two more, um, and people have called, but I don't know. You know, I know two people have been here and gave me two, but I'm wanting two more estimates before I make my mind up. Okay, well, I, I'm like... I live in... Oh, yeah, that's close to where I'm at. Um, I, I'm a local artist. Um, would you be against me bringing in, like, a 55-gallon barrel of paint in the middle of the room um, it's going to be multicolor inside there and I'm just going to explode it I'm going to blow it up and it'll throw paint everywhere 
and it'll be like an original oh, no, we, paint job. No, I don't want nothing like that. I've got my own colors. Yeah, no, well, no, we can. That I want we, on the wall. I can put some of your colors in there too. But mostly I'm going to be using neons. Uh, well, I pay by the job. I mean, I know you're an artist, but I mean, I can't afford an artist if you're what I think you are. What? What does that mean? Um, I only, because it's very small, the, the job is not that big. Um, well, I'll use it. That both of the people that were here said they would be done in an hour. Oh, yeah, this won't, this won't even That's take an hour, because I'm just going to, I'm basically going to rig it with explosives inside the paint buckets and just have them blow up all over the room. And we'll cover the carpet with plastic. What am I going to do with my furniture that's in the room? Well, get the furniture out of there, stupid. I can't. You're not supposed to. I can't live, stupid. <laughs> oh, well, I'll help you with that. Or we can just, you know, um, we'll just put a plastic over it. So what color is going to be on my wall? Uh, well, we can put your colors in there, but I, I mostly want to do neon orange, neon pink, neon yellow, and no, ne neon no, pur purple. No, no, Once you see my house, you'll understand why I'm saying no. It's going to be a work of art. Okay. Uh, I know that, but I, I don't want that in my house. No. What? Are you against art? Do I you know hate art? Pretty. I... No, I have sculptures. I have art pictures in my home. I've got paintings. Uh, no, I don't hate art, but I don't like today's art. If, if you know what I mean. You know what you could do? Like, yeah, well, mine's mine's kind of like a retro type art. If you want, you could stand in the room when it blows up, and there'll be like a shape of you on the wall that's not painted. No, I, I'm not into that. Um, no, I think I'm going to pass. <laughs> okay. Fine. Thank you, dear. Fine. How much do the other people charge? Okay. I thought it was a great idea. Next time I paint a room, that's how I'm going to do it. Hello. Hello. This is Steve Dave from the radio station. Um, you called in today about selling chickens. Yes, sir. Quote, unquote. And look, you can't be selling sexual items on, on the air like that. You're going to get our FCC license pulled. So I, I don't know if that was... I can't... Uh, okay. You can't sell uh, what, what... You can't sell chickens on your radio station anymore? No, no, no. no. We, we know it's not really chickens. We know what you really mean. And you're, you're trying to sell sexual items... And, and, oh, I'm not. And you're using code I, words. I don't, know, I don't know where you're from, Cowboy, but you don't have any idea who the hell you're talking to or what you're talking about. Oh, yes, I do. Look, um, you're going to get our FCC license pulled. You know, saying things like well, that on the air, that's ridiculous. If, selling, if, selling, if me selling the chickens that I raise on my farm is going to get your license revoked, I guess it's going to get jerked in. Oh, sure. I'm damn on, sure don't keep on selling chickens. On the farm. Okay. On the farm. Good, goodbye. If you know what I mean. Hello. Hey, we just called you about your chickens. Yeah. And and guess what? What? You want to <laughs> buy some? Hey, Lamo! You just got full on butt slammed by the Skippy and Dippy Morning Show. We were just kidding. We're with the Wacky Morning Show here on the station. Oh, okay. We were. It was just a joke. Right. I'm sorry. We're we're just calling up. Well, I'm sorry. We're just calling up everyone from the classifieds from earlier and, and pranking them. We're doing phone pranks today. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry if I interrupted your show, but I don't. Somebody accuses me of doing something like that. I'm going to have something to say about it. Well, you, you, were, <laughs> okay. you were trying to sell sexual items. That, that's why we were doing the prank, because you're trying to sell sexual items on our station. And, and we can't have that Chicken, here. A, 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 a little rooster and a little hen no, and a sexual item. We know what you mean by rooster and hen. Wink, wink. We weren't born yesterday. Oh, well. <laughs> well, you're still, you're still way out of line, Hoss. So just waste, quit wasting my time and spend your time wasting your time Look, with somebody else. I, I, ain't, I ain't your Hoss, Chief. I think I'm running out of ideas. But I definitely need to do more of these. Here, let me look up one more radio station. I'll just search for Swap Shop. We'll just do a couple more of these. 
Here's a good one. Looks like they do their swap shop on Saturdays, Mondays, and Fridays. Yeah. Hello, Fred. Yeah. Hey, this is Steve Dave from the radio station. Yeah. Hey, you need to stop calling into our swap shop with a bunch of nonsense items like that. Like what? Well, you know, just, just making up things, like making up things that don't exist. And, and saying they're about... Everything I had exists. A what? Everything that I have is for sale. I, I know. I can show you. Come look. But you're making up things. You're like a Delta Industrial Wood Planner. What's, that's not a real I thing. I have a planner. Come look. What's, what's a planner? You're just making up words. Wood planner. Come look. Where are you at? I'm here at the radio station. Look, look, this, this. Come look. This swap shots for for legitimate items from legitimate Come people. Come look. Come look at what your your pretend items. Come look at this stuff. Well, it's it's not even real stuff. A, a golf cart it's, gas. It is real stuff. What's a golf cart gas? That's that's just like nonsense words. That's gibberish. The gas. It's a gas golf cart. It's got a Kawasaki gas engine in it. Kawasaki? Like, did you just make that up on the fly? You're like a genius of nonsense words. Oh, who, are you, who is this again? This is Steve Dave from the radio station. I don't, I don't see why you're just calling in and wasting everyone's time with all this nonsense. Uh-huh. Like what? Well, I got. I got. Uh, why don't you just? Why don't you just get in your little puckmobile and come out to my house and look at this stuff? A puckmobile? What's a puckmobile? Is that more nonsense words? Your you car. Just... You got a car? Yeah, I have a car. I don't have a puckmobile. Get in and put your ass down here. Look at this stuff. What the hell's a puckmobile? Just get on there. Get your car and come down here and look at this stuff. And what's a four foot joiner? That that sounds like pretend. That's like fantasy world stuff. A what? A four a four foot joiner. For two. A four. You don't even you don't even know what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's a four inch joiner. Do you don't know anything about what I'm talking about? That's because you're talking nonsense. You're just making up I'm things. I'm not talking nonsense. You get it, you get in your car and come down here and look at this stuff. What stuff? You don't have any stuff. You're just making things up. You're making prank I'm calls. I'm not making things up. What's with all these prank calls? You, you sound too old for prank calls. Where's your station manager? Um, she is in the other room. I can put her oh, on. Oh, how about go and get her? I guess. Uh, do you want to talk to to the station yeah, manager? Yeah, I want to. Yeah, I want to talk to her. Okay. Can Can I put you on hold? She's gonna tell. Yeah. She's gonna tell you the same thing though. Stop putting nonsense items. Go uh, get her. Okay. Just a minute, please. All of our representatives are currently busy. Please stay on the line, and your call will be answered by the next available representative. Shut the fuck up. You're a fucking cunt. Hello, this is Carol, station manager. Can I help you? Yeah, how are you doing? Pretty good. How are you today, sir? I'm at home. Oh, that didn't answer my question at all. Who is this? Who is this guy that called me and tell me I'm calling with a bunch of nonsense? Oh, that's Steve, Dave. Yeah, you 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 were just called in with like weird stuff, like a joiner. What's a joiner? It's a, a tool you make furniture with. It's a joiner. Come get in your car and come look at it. I don't have a car. I'm a woman. You're what? A woman? Yeah, I don't have a car. But, like, no, you're just making this stuff up, aren't you? Like, there's not... No, I'm not making this stuff up. A, a planner? It sounds like you're just making up nonsense words. Well, see, you have no idea what I'm talking about. It's a wood planer. Nobody knows what you're talking about. We Googled this stuff. This stuff isn't real. Yes, it's all real. Yeah, we looked on Google. Google says you're making it up. I'm not making nothing up. I don't make up stuff. Is it like you got pumps for $1,600? What's a pump? What? I got what? It, it says on here pumps for $1,600. That's way too much for pumps. What do you, what do you say again? A P pump? Pumps. Yeah, it says with pumps. 
A swimming pool and pumps. That's right, a swimming pool. It's 16 foot wide and it's 32, 31 foot uh, long. What's, what's it's a... an Intech swimming pool. What's, what's Get a... in your car and come look at this stuff. What's a swimming pool? Are you some kind of weird, weirdo? Like, what's, like, I've never heard of a swimming pool. You never heard of a swimming pool? Yeah, like, that, that's not even a real word. You're just making up gibberish. What Why the heck? Why don't you just get in your car and come down here and, and I'm at 1-1 Lake Road. Do you know where Lake Road is? Lake Road? That's not a real road. You're just making up that street name. I think y'all are idiots. I'm, I ain't no idiot. I'm a station manager. Okay, well, get in your station manager car and come down here and look at it. I don't know how to drive. I'm a woman. You don't know how to drive? Is that what you said? Yeah, I'm a woman. I don't know how to drive. Do you know Gary Dean? Yeah, I, yeah, I know Gary Dean. He's a motherfucker. Well, get it? Get, go get Gary Dean by the hand and have him drive out here and look at this stuff. Gary Dean ain't my goddamn chauffeur. You know, I'm a married woman. Well, have your husband drive you out here and look at it. My husband's busy at work. Where does he work? I don't, like, that's none of your business, sir. Oh, how about you coming out here and look at this stuff if you don't think it's real? How about, how about you stop prank calling our radio station like this? This is ridiculous. Uh-huh. Uh. Well, anyway, uh, guess what? <laughs> hey, Lamo, you just got full on butt slammed by the Skippy and Dippy Morning Show. We were just kidding. We're with the Skippy and Dippy Morning Show. You what? We're, we're with the, the, the afternoon show, the, the wacky DJ show thing. We're making prank calls today. You're our first you're prank. Making, you're making prank calls, is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, we were just kidding with you. We, we know that a swimming pool's real. We were just kidding. It's a joke. You just got it ain't no joke to me when some idiot calls up and tells me all this stuff is not real. That You just got butt slammed, though. You just got... Slam. Are you on the radio now? Yeah, you're on the air right now. We put you on the air so we can all laugh at you. Just hang on a minute. Let me turn this radio on and let me see just what's going on well, no, here. It's, it's, it's delayed. If you were, here. Is that you? Um, yeah, we're on commercial break right now. We were just kidding with you. Oh, I like this song. Do 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 do. me and telling me all of this stuff ain't real. Yeah. These people are all crazy. This is interesting. You're all crazy. Yeah, we're loose cannons. We're wacky afternoon DJ drive time people. How come I don't hear you on the air right now? It's a commercial break. That's all. I think it's a very strange sight lately, and I don't know what it. Drudge is obviously a genius. You probably got it on the wrong station, you big dummy. No, it's not an off station. The only station I have tuned is yours. Huh. Well, you'll hear us on there in a minute. There's like a 35-minute delay. 35-minute delay. Huh? Yeah, just like always. Uh-huh. Yup. Well, I'm going to call Saturday morning and find out from Gary Dean if you people are real or are you just a bunch of idiots. Uh, we, we're, we're totally idiots. We're the afternoon idiot show. And sometimes I'm uh -huh. to the way drugs. You're on well, look, yeah, you don't have gerbil. anything better to do than to call me up and tell me my stuff ain't real. Don't call again. Yeah, that was just a joke. We were just joking with you. We are just joshing. It ain't no joke to me. Yeah, it is. It is to a joke. I was in the Marine Corps for 20 years, and shit like this ain't no joke. What does that have to do with anything? That's a weird... It makes it has a lot to do with anything. What are you talking about? The Marine Corps? The Marine Corps ain't real. Oh, he didn't like that. That made him hang up. That guy does not like the joke. I think that's enough of those for the day. And I now have a directory in my bookmarks of a few radio station swap shop type things. So hopefully I'll remember to do some more of these soon because they're kind of fun. Thanks Uppity Cracker for inspiring all this today. I've got your page there bookmarked. I will definitely be calling them back. 
in a few weeks after they've forgotten about me. Roy, it's Rodley Scott in the land of Lincoln, Illinois. Hello. I just wanted to share with you a quick story, 30 seconds or less, of course. Yep. About Is that uh, why your voicemail's a minute long? Uh, what I dreamed last night, or the night before I left. Okay. I dreamt I ran into Carrot Top, going across the University of Illinois campus. Uh, and the funniest thing is, what I thought to say above all things was, Oh my God, have you heard of the Phone Losers of America? And oh, like, thanks. Yeah, I think I have. And I was like, you have got to hear all the uses of your name and the funny ways you've been incorporated into that podcast. It was way funnier than you have ever been. And he was like super offended and like tried to start a fight with me with his big muscles. And uh, somewhere along the way, I will go. But I do not think I want the fight. So, oh, uh, that's I too bad. I you a copy of the medical bill. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Well, I appreciate you uh, promoting my show and your dreams to Carrot Top. I wonder if Carrot Top's ever heard the prank calls. Because I know Pauly Shore's heard the prank calls. He LOL'd once about them, I think on Twitter. But I've never heard anything from Carrot Top. Hello, Steve, Dave. This is Christopher calling on behalf of Roy's Rebels Estate. And it's come to my attention that you have, since Roy's passing, promised his coveted late Burt Reynolds mustache hairs to another party. What? I have known Mr. Jabell for upwards of four years now, and shortly before his passing, I was promised them by himself. So the late Burt Reynolds mustache hairs upon his end, those are mine. So okay. as not to have to resort to legal measures, I seriously suggest you send me them that. immediately. Um, P.S. Brad, me and my girlfriend are joining your Patreon, but only for $5 because you're funny, but not that funny. Goodbye! Oh, uh, yay! I'm okay with five bucks. And just because of that, I will send you the mustache hairs, the Burt Reynolds mustache hairs. They're all yours. Hey, hey, hey it's Corbin. How you doing, uh, Brad? Great, Corbin. Mimicking along with the voice message there. I like it. it it's, it's a true test of patience. Oh, hey, I, I have always incredibly awesome ideas and things mm-hmm. to say. So, like, here it is, billboards. And uh, pot dispensaries. Okay, digital billboards. Great First ideas. off, I've been seeing them around. You can get advertisement space up there. Ten bucks a day or some shit like that. Yeah, right. And uh, you can get quite creative, too, and it's pretty much an instant upload after you... Do, 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 Wouldn't pay. it be like ten bucks a day, but you have to pay for 30 days or something? So it's really $300. Howard or whatever in the fuck. I know these tricks. Ties, computer things. Okay, the other thing is pot dispensaries. But I highly recommend that anybody out there puts up some digital billboard things for me, for PLA and for the Snowplow Show, maybe for Mr. Dabalina. Please do that. Maybe um, uh, some of us up here in the uh, Northwest, uh, maybe we ought to uh, start a little... uh, uh, a little group, a little PLA pot farm. Uh, I'm not talking to any of us growing. I'm just talking about a sponsoring a pot farm and getting the uh, PLA logo and uh, the Snowplow Show and other show web links, you know, like up inside the wrappers of the yummy confectionaries yeah. or maybe like, you know, as a sticker, you know, like stuck in there with the joint in a, in a little glass tube. That sounds great. Little glass tube. <laughs> I was born out of one. Uh, anyhow, hey, uh, okay. love you much. Love everybody. Hey, have a good day. Blah, blah, blah. All blah, right, blah. bye, Corbin guy. Can we get like a PLA strain of weed? How hard is it to make that happen? I want that to happen. Hey, Brad. This is Exit Row. Hey. I'm calling you over Google Voice from Cambodia. Okay. I uh, just want to say I love the show. I was a big fan of uh, PLA back, in, uh, back when I was in high school. I recently rediscovered you guys um, playing through the Snowplow Show archive. Uh, if I find a payphone here that you know can do international calls, I'll try calling you from that. I can't wait. Right, see ya. Glad you rediscovered us. But you suck for forgetting about PLA. How could you forget about PLA? Natalie, Natalie, I'd like to do you vaginally. Hey, Brad, it's Matt. Hey, Matt. Hey, what happened to that song? I think we need more pranks with the Natalie song. Yeah, we do. You should call up Natalies of all shapes and sizes. Yeah. And find out ways to play that song for them. Yeah, I should. Anyway, uh, one more thing, Cactus. Wasn't I just searching Craigslist for the name Natalie? Here, let's try that and see if that works. 
There's a Natalie Merchant CD. There's something for sale on Natalie Lane. Here we go. Contact James and Natalie as their phone number. Yeah, I need to do this again. I need to get those songs queued up. I need to put them on my soundboard permanently. So every time a Natalie answers, I can play that song for her. <laughs> Holy shit, I love your new message, Brad. Thanks. Hey, Brad. Hey. Um, call me back whenever you can. No. Um, hey, uh, I just wanted to say, on top of Carly don't never fucking updating his feed, yeah. um, I fucker. had a bit of a... He mentioned that on his most recent show. I think that was on Saturday before the Dwight show on Mixler.com slash Prank Call Nation. He said he was going to start working on his feed again, trying to get his feed updated. Hopefully he's serious. Hopefully he makes that happen. That'd be nice. Uh, challenge for you. Oh, by the way, I'm calling from the uh, from deep in the heart of Texas. So, um, anyways, uh, I so my challenge to you is that I was listening to Dwight's show and he all like kind of like picked up on this girl who was in a hotel, and I was thinking, why don't you try something like that? And maybe not just hotels, but I got a challenge for you because I think you're a suave guy. You're actually one of the more I guess down to earth ones. So what? how about you try to pick up girls on the phone? I think it'd be pretty entertaining. Why? I really would like to see how good it is. And if you can get them seriously to consider going on a date with you or getting, you know, your personal information, not in a creepy sort of way, but just to actually go on a date. Yeah. You know, and then I'd be creepy. This used to be done in the past. Anyways, I'm babbling now. So you let are. me tell you why the Holocaust a is a long fake. voicemail. So listen, six million is a very right, bye. Long... Thanks for calling in. It goes on for quite a while after that. And hey, look, it's another one. A minute and a half long. Is this the same guy that was leaving long voicemails the other day? Probably. Well, hello there. Hello. I'm loving it. They're just rocking. Thanks. Don't stop. Well, that was pretty much it. I mean, you're okay. kicking ass. It's hilarious. And those that don't think it's hilarious, it. well, there's something seriously wrong. All righty. Yeah. That work. I, I agree. Get back to it. Yep. Oh, shit. Here comes the boss. Oh, fuck. All right. Oh, oh, there they are. All right. Later. I think that was just his wife walking into the room. Hello, Roy Brad Cactus Pranker. It's your main nigga, Rico Rocks, coming at you live. Okay. I know you were working back on the day on a phonetic alphabet, as in like K, as in me. Well, I don't know. I don't know where to find your alphabet at. But if you could spell R B C P for me with phonetic alphabet, what would that? What would those four letters equal? Okay, that would be R as in Arwanda, B as in B B Q, and P as in pneumonia. I need to pronounce those words more when I do that. P is in pneumonia to really fuck with their heads a little bit more. And also, I don't think we're going to work out, uh, baby, because I just like you too much. Yeah, I yeah, and you leave too many voicemails. Stop leaving so many goddamn voicemails that don't say anything. By the way, the phonetic alphabet, it's on phonelosers.com slash alphabet if you want to download the phonetic alphabet. I put it on a very convenient uh, half sheet of paper or a quarter sheet of paper, I think I did that. So it's in various sizes, and it's something that you should definitely post, you know, wherever you work, next to the phone, when you need to spell things for people. It's very useful to have. It's a PDF for easy printing. Be sure to go download the phonetic alphabet at phonelosers.com slash alphabet. Hey, Brian. T. Falcon here. Hey, T. Falcon. And, uh, I was just listening to your show 554, Wheels on the Bus, and everybody was freaking out about the voicemail, so I had to call. Yeah, yeah. I got a lot oh. of voicemails in here. I don't think I'm going to get to them all today. Because everyone had to call it after the last oh episode. It was hilarious. Thanks, anyway, T Falcon. So there's this pharmacy place here in Indiana called Butt Drugs. I've heard of that. I think you should give them a call. <laughs> you can just find it with a quick Google. Yeah, search. I think people have sent me a picture of their sign before. Butt Drugs Indiana. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you can say that you've been having pains in your ass. Ah, ha, ha. Uh, you need some butt drugs. That's a good one. Anyway, bye, Roy. Bye, T. Falcon. By the way, T. Falcon, I heard you on Carlito's show telling him that he was your favorite pranker. It made me very jealous. Thanks a lot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> First of all, 
That voicemail was hilarious. I was just like listening to you on Spotify. Thanks. <laughs> I was like, what is everybody talking about? So I had to call because I'm nosy. Yep. And um, I just wanted to say I love your show. Point blank period. That's all I need to say. I was just being nosy. Thanks. My name is Jessica, by the way. Bye. Bye. Glad I've got new people to call into the voicemail. Hey, I heard Spotify was not updating my feed anymore. Is anyone else having that problem? Apparently she's not because she heard the most recent episode. But I've heard from a couple people that Spotify does not update the feeds quick enough. Maybe it depends on which feed you're checking. The Phone Losers feed or the Snowplow Show feed. I don't know. Hey Brad, it's Mr. Taco. Hey Mr. Taco. What's going on? Hey, I just wanted to tell you I ran across one of your shows the other day that has always been one of my favorites. It's the trailer parks and liquor stores where Carol does an impromptu uh, oh, yeah. TV ad. Come on in down. The trailer park. I thought that was the most hilarious thing I've ever heard. Oh. Anyway. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Mr. Taco. I was editing a bunch of trailer park calls the other day and I didn't hear that one. Which episode was that from? I need to find that one. I want to put that one up on YouTube or something. And that reminds me, Dom posted something on the PLA Facebook group. Let me see if I can scroll through all this shit and find it. He's looking for a certain episode of the Snowplow Show. We think it's the Snowplow Show. It might have been one of those shows I did before the Snowplow Show, the ones that don't really have a name. You know, the Tostitos and Four Locos shows. I bet you some of you have never even heard of those shows. I should re-release those as Snowplow shows so they're, you know, they're all here. They're all a part of the collection. I don't know. Maybe that's a dumb idea. Anyway, yeah, here it is. He's looking for an episode where I'm looking at street view of a neighborhood of houses that all look similar, except for one house that is a two-story house. He then decides to use the two-story house as the number to call the other houses and tell them that they are all hobos for not having a two-story house as well. And then later in the episode, I hack Randy Dandy's voicemail. So that's got to be pretty old, because Randy Dandy, that was from 2010 originally. That was something from Carlito's show. So maybe it was around 2013, 2014, maybe even 2015. We don't know. We can't figure this one out. I remember making that call, and I actually remember exactly what the house looked like. It was on the very end of the block. It was the only one that was two stories. They thought they were hot shit with their two stories. So if anyone knows what show that one is from... Leave a comment in the show notes on the YouTube somewhere, and I will get this information back to Dom the Bomb. He said he's called in before with a voicemail asking that same question, and nobody was able to help. And I want to know too. I want to put that stuff up on YouTube if we can find it. I've been thinking about re-releasing all of my old shows. You know how I used to do the automatic redial? And tell me what you guys think about this. I'm done with the voicemails, by the way. There's more voicemails in there, but screw it. The show's over. There's just too many voicemails. But in the past, I have released uh, old episodes of the Snowplow Show onto the feed, and I have called them automatic redials, but they've been pretty random. It's been uh, mostly suggestions from listeners on which shows to replay. But what if I played one show per week and called it the automatic redial show, and maybe I stick an intro on the beginning of the show about what I think I remember from the show, and then I actually listen to the show and do an outro kind of recap type thing. I don't know, this is probably a horrible idea. I definitely wouldn't put them on YouTube again, but it might be a fun way to get some of the old shows played again on the feed because they're so old at this point, I don't even remember them. The Snowplow show has been going on since 2013, right? And I'm talking about, you know, like just starting at the very beginning, playing them from the very first one and slowly working my way up. And it would never be finished because even if it's just one show per week, I'm always going to be five years behind doing that. What do you all think? Would that be annoying to have an extra show in your feed every single week? Let me know in the comments or in an email or in a voicemail. I think that's it for today's show. Thank you to the sponsors, Jamie F., David J., TheBadCatForum.com, Jim Dusky, and FN Reality. Thank you to everyone that supports the Snowplow Show and the PLA. I don't know how I would be paying off my prank call legal bills if it wasn't for all of you. Thanks, everybody that supports the show on Patreon.com slash PhoneLosers and PhoneLosers.com slash Cactus, NewProject2.com slash PhoneLosers. Please support the show. If you're not doing that already, you get an extra show every single week called The Hobo Sodes, and there's brand new pranks in every single one. It's completely worth it. 
By the way, in a few hours, I'm going to be doing a co-host thing. I'm going to be a guest on the Dickheads podcast, which is not the Dick Show, but it's a show about the Dick Show. That's going to be broadcast on Discord. And I don't know why I'm mentioning it here, because I kind of doubt I'm not going to get the show edited by then. And even if I did, you wouldn't hear the end of the show by the time that ended or by the time that began. But in the small chance that I do manage to get the show posted before then, that's going to be at 6 p.m. Pacific tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern. They broadcast on Discord, the Dickheads podcast, which I guess is linked from their website, wherever their website's at. I'll at least put a link to the Discord in the show notes. But they have a podcast feed. It's called the Dickheads podcast. Look for that in your podcast app. Listen to the show that happens today. I'm sure they'll post it in the next few days. Thanks for listening, everyone. Bye. I stayed home from work, doing renovations, replacing the carpets in my basement. I noticed a hatch in the corner of the floor, so I lifted the latch and I opened the door. The hatch door opened into my amazement. There was a tunnel leading somewhere beneath my basement. Anticipation, my heart was racing, so I jumped in the hole in the corner of my basement. Up under your house, calling from a tunnel, could you send me some? My son is starting to crumble There's a lot of stuff down here I need you to help me Take it to the surface And sell it on eBay Now I'm down in the hole that I just jumped in And there's tunnels leading in every direction It's like an underground city down here So I'm hoping you could just lend me your ears There's a big waterfall, old computers and cars My phone's light's not so bright but I found some cigars They smell real nice, I think they're from Cuba There's an old car down here and the horn goes I look up Up under your house, calling from a tunnel Could you send me some food? My stomach's starting to crumble There's a lot of stuff down here I need you to help me Take it to the surface and sell it on eBay My phone said I'm under your house That's why I'm calling you And I hope that you can help me find my way back home Or maybe send a canary There's a guy down here and I think he's a hobo He makes me suck his dick before release No homo There's a chest in the corner full of gold doubloons So don't you call the cops I don't trust those buffoons Up under your house Calling from a tunnel Could you send me some food? My stomach's starting to there's a lot of stuff down here, I need you to help me Take it to the surface and sell it on eBay Got a broom handle I found when I'm banging around On the ceiling in the hopes that somebody Oh wait, what's that sound? Oh no, robots! Oh shit! Hey, go chase the dog or something, will ya? <laughs>